Dolphins fans, welcome into Dolphins today. I am Will Scott. We are breaking down the latest news and rumors with the Miami Dolphins. And of course, we're going to have to talk about the Pro Bowl. Uh, I know a lot of us are not happy that Tua Tungvalu was not, uh, not selected. We'll get to that in a second. But first, help me get to 36,000 subscribers. We are so, so close to reaching that number. Go down, subscribe to the channel. All I want for Christmas is 36K, and I want to get there by the end of Christmas Day, by the end of our Packers watch party stream. We'll see if we can make it happen. Uh, we got to talk about the Pro Bowl, though, obviously. Uh, we're going to be breaking down some of the Dolphins' Pro Bowl selections, talk about some alternates as well. So here is who was selected to the Pro Bowl for the fence. Tyreek. Teron Armstead and Xavier Howard. Yes, you're reading that correctly. Xavier Howard was named to the Pro Bowl. So those were the three selections. And I think the initial reaction when this happened was two was snubbed. Uh, Tua Tonga Veloa should have been a Pro Bowler. He led the entire, he led all of fan voting by a pretty wide margin, but it came down to coaches' votes and it came down to players' votes, and he was not one of the three AFC quarterbacks selected now when you break down the numbers between him and Josh Allen yeah Josh has more touchdowns uh yards per game is very similar Tua has a higher completion percentage and a far higher quarterback rating uh and you know again the touchdowns a little bit higher yards per game a little bit higher but Josh also has played more games Tua missed two and a half games so I thought Tua quite frankly was more deserving of a Pro Bowl uh, nomination than Josh Allen was here were the three quarterbacks that were selected for the AFC. Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow. Now, I'm not saying those guys are not deserving. Those might be the three best quarterbacks in the conference, but I did believe that Tua deserved a, a Pro Bowl nod, and the fans believe, believe that as well. Tua led the fan voting, uh, again, by a pretty wide margin, but it came down to the coaches and the players as well. The fans... It was just one-third of the voting. The coaches and the players, that took up the other two-thirds, and that is why Tua did not get a Pro Bowl a nod here, at least, at least for now. Hard Rock Sportsbook tweeted this out. Since 2009, the NFL passer rating leader has made the Pro Bowl every season. Tua leads the NFL in passer rating and was not selected to the Pro Bowl. Now, why is that? Now, why is that? How come Tua can go out, in the words of Brian Windhorst, yes, Producer Jack, why is that? How can Tua go out, have this remarkable season, lead the fan voting, lead the NFL in quarterback rating? Again, since 2009, every QB that's done that has gone to the Pro Bowl, except for Tua Tungavailon. I wish I was surprised. We are 2 and on has chimed in. This is the official statement from 2 and on saying rigged election. Two and nine is saying this is rigged, and I would have to agree. Daniel Oe Fussy, though, tweeted this yesterday before the Pro Bowl voting came in, or before the Pro Bowl team was announced. Dolphins QB Tua Tungavailo on possibly being named to the Pro Bowl. That would be cool, but my hope is I'm not available for it. So hopefully, uh, you know, Tua has the last laugh here and leads the Dolphins to the Super Bowl because he wouldn't have been able to play in the Pro Bowl anyway. Should Tua have been a Pro Bowler? Why for yes, in for no, down in the comment section. It is the pinned comment on today's video. So reply to it when an ad break comes, should Tua have gotten in. He didn't get in, but he probably will get in. Tua is the first alternate. So if one of those three quarterbacks either makes the Super Bowl, which I'm assuming uh, the Dolphins don't make it, one of those three teams will get in. Or if they opt out, if there's an injury, Tua will get in. So Tua is going to be a Pro Bowl. Now, he should have been voted in initially. Unfortunately, that did not happen. Uh, but Tua Tungavailoa absolutely will be a pro bowler, and he deserves it. Before we get into more Dolphins news, I want to tell you about our friends over at Rocket Money. And I love using the app called Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, because they help me save money by canceling unnecessary subscriptions. The app shows all your subscriptions in one place. And it then cancels for you whatever you don't still want. Rocket Money can't even find subscriptions you didn't know you were paying for. You may even find out you've been double charged for one. 
to cancel a subscription. All you got to do is press cancel. They will take care of the rest. Get rid of useless subscriptions with Rocket Money. Now go to rocketmoney.com slash dolphins chat. That is the link. Seriously, could save you hundreds per year. Rocketmoney.com slash dolphins chat. That link in the comments and the description of today's video. I love using the, I love using the app because it has saved me a lot of money, and I think a lot of us are going to have New Year's resolutions about saving money. It's a great way to do it. Let's go back to the Pro Bowl selections, and we'll break these down one by one. A Tyree kill, obviously extremely deserving of the award. Currently second in the NFL in receiving yards with over 1,500, 109 receptions, seven touchdowns, averaging 14 yards per catch. So we knew coming in Tyree kill was going to be uh, really good. I think he's exceeded those expectations that we had for him, though. I thought he was going to take a, you know, people were saying he was going to take a step back with Tua. So much for that. He has been uh, even better in Miami. And then Teron Armstead was the other really big get for the Dolphins in the offseason. He's extremely valuable. In fact, I think he's the most valuable offensive lineman in all of football. I think he's the second most valuable player just behind Tua on the Dolphins. Uh, when he has not played, the offensive line has been an absolute disaster. So, Props to Armstead, really big get for Miami. He's been worth every penny. I get it. He's been a little bit banged up, but he certainly played through a lot of injuries as well. He's very deserving of a Pro Bowl selection. His fourth of his career, the big honor. Show Tehran some love by typing 72 down in the comment section. Go type 72 for Armstead. And I mean no disrespect. And Chad Jones was in the chat a little bit earlier talking about this. How is Xavier Howard a Pro Bowler? I just, look, I get it. He's a big name. He's been really good most of his career, but this season he has not been having a good year. 39 tackles, just one pick. His reception percentage, this means when quarterbacks throw at him, the number of times the receiver catches it, that's near 67%, which is not good. And the QB rating against him is 125.5. I mean, I am just stunned that X was a Pro Bowl, and, you know, we've talked about his struggles, and he's certainly good enough to turn things around, but uh, quite frankly, he did not belong in the Pro Bowl over some of the other guys. Here are some of the alternates for the Dolphins. These guys are first and second alternates. So Tua Tungavello is the first alternate. Jalen Waddle, hopefully he can get a nod here. Uh, he deserves it as well. Alec Ingold, I could not believe that he was not the fullback selected. He also led the fan voting, by the way, at his position. Christian Wilkins and Bradley Chubb, the other Dolphins here that were named alternates. Who do you think out of those guys is the biggest Pro Bowl snub? Go down in the comments. I think a lot of y'all are going to say uh, Tua. Some of y'all might say Connor Williams or, or some other guys. Uh, Connor was not an alternate, uh, but maybe he deserved to be an alternate. want to talk about this as well because uh, this clip went viral about Mike Kosicki talking to Dawson Knox. Wasn't that later? But Mike McDaniel was asked about Mike Kosicki's usage, or lack thereof, and here's what he said. He's a good player, and I don't give him the ball enough. I don't like that he's having to answer those questions. It feels as though it's a failure to some degree for myself. That's the way you have to look at it. If I'm to lead this team, I have to set an example and set the example of accountability. That can never be skirted. I hope and believe Mike looks at what he can do to better the situation. And Mike Kosicki talked about it as well. If he's frustrated about his usage, and he said, yeah, I am, I'm a competitor. I've made plays in this league for a long time, proven the player that I am. I think there's probably defensive coordinators that are watching our film have to put in the time, or at least used to have to put in the time, to how we are going to affect the game plan with number 88 out there. In my opinion, I could help, but I'm not going to go about I'm not going to go about it in the most professional way I can. Now, this comes after that clip that I mentioned went viral with uh, Mike Kosicki and Dawson Knox postgame, the starting tight ends for both the Dolphins and the Bills, talking after that crazy game on Saturday. Here's what Kosicki told Knox. This got half a million views. I'm so happy for you, man. I'm happy you got paid. I'm happy you're balling. I'm happy they're effing using you, man. And he put an em emphasis on the... Um, on the cuss word there. So uh, Mike Kosicki seems pretty frustrated, and you can't blame him. I think there's a 0% chance that he's back with the Dolphins next season. He's not going to resign. I don't think they're going to tag him again. But still, that being said, utilize him more. He's a great red zone target. 
We've seen some spectacular plays that he's made this season. We saw that great season he had last season. Yeah, he's not the best fit in McDaniel's scheme because McDaniel expects tight ends to block a little bit more. Smite's done a better job of that. But still, I do believe that Mike McDaniel is correct. That Gasicki needs to be utilized more. And give Mike credit. How often do you hear coaches saying, yeah, that's on me. I got to get him more involved. Very rarely, Mike McDaniel's a real one. Does Gasicki deserve more targets? Type 1 for yes or type 2 for no down in the comments section. Yes, I do believe that he deserves some more targets. Again, go down, subscribe. Help us get to 36,000 subscribers. Need 887 more trying to get there by Christmas.